Is the Kahir 313 the secret weapon that could reshape the future of warfare? Iran claims it has adapted stealth fighter technology into an indigenous jet-powered drone. In this video, we'll explore the intricate details of this mysterious project. Stay with me, fascinating insights are ahead. The Kahir 313 was first unveiled in February 2013. Its angular body, forward canards, and twin vertical stabilizers caught the attention of many analysts. Initial images portrayed a futuristic design, but many questions emerged. Did this design ever achieve successful flight? According to early specifications, the drone was said to be about 14 meters long with a 5 meter wingspan. Its body was constructed from special composite materials to reduce radar reflection. Iran promoted it as a fifth generation fighter. However, no documented official flight of the aircraft was ever reported. In 2017, the then defense minister announced that the Kikir 313 had only reached taxi test stages. There had been no operational flights. These statements led Western analysts to question the true nature of the project. Was it simply a technology demonstrator? By late 2022, the narrative shifted. Iran announced the project had been redirected toward an unmanned drone platform. A smart move? Perhaps. This official update sparked a fresh wave of international analysis. In March 2025, a new version dubbed JAS-313 was introduced, a naval drone retaining the design cues of the original Quahir. However, it was smaller and intended for different operational roles. Now, its focus was on naval missions and close support. The larger JAS-313 model measures 8.4 meters in length with a 4.8 meter wingspan. It uses the Jahesh 700 turbofan jet engine. Its ability to take off and land on ships adds a new operational dimension. A jet-powered drone from a carrier deck? Definitely eye-catching. The smaller model is 3.5 meters long and powered by the Tolu jet engine. It's designed for fast, agile missions. Its high flexibility enhances survivability on the battlefield, but its real-world performance still needs to be proven. Both JAS-313 models feature angular wings and twin vertical tails. This aerodynamic form is intended to reduce radar cross-section. The goal? Penetrate environments protected by advanced air defense systems. But do these features truly deliver in practice? Iran claims these drones have passed takeoff and landing tests on the Shahid Bagheri drone carrier. Official reports speak of successful test flights. However, complete details and documentary footage have yet to be released publicly. This lack of transparency fuels further uncertainty. Western observers remain skeptical of the project. Aviationist analysts in particular comment. It looks more like a radio-controlled model. But what is Iran's true goal with this project? A key question that requires careful examination. Other international media also classify the Kahir 313 and JAS 313 as being in the testing phase. There's no evidence of deployment in an actual combat environment. Is the project still in research and development? A definitive answer remains elusive. Meanwhile, Iranian officials repeatedly emphasize the primary goal is to advance domestic high-tech capabilities, overcome sanctions, and localize technical expertise. But has this technology reached operational maturity? According to Iranian defense authorities, this project represents part of the nation's scientific progress. The Kahir 313 is currently in testing and optimization stages. 
Transforming it into a drone was seen as a logical choice. Yet critical field trials still remain. The shift from a manned fighter to a drone is driven by economic and operational factors. Drones are more cost-effective and better suited to modern battlefields. Iran, by following this new path, is looking toward the future. But ultimate success must be proven in practice. The JAS-313 boasts advanced guidance and control systems. It can perform reconnaissance, support, and strike missions. A jet-powered drone with such capabilities adds significant value to the naval force. But again, its real-world performance remains to be seen. Integrating the JAS-313 with Iran's naval and air fleets is a key objective. Conducting joint operations and achieving system interoperability. This could potentially elevate the level of naval combat capabilities, but only time will tell if these claims hold true. Despite all the announced capabilities, military experts remain cautious. They say we must await operational proof. The battlefield is the only true test for validating such projects. And currently, such evidence remains limited. Comparisons with proven drones like the Mohair 6 are also revealing. The Mohair 6 has been tested repeatedly in real combat scenarios, but the Kahir 313 has yet to reach that stage, and this distinction is key for future analysis. The Mohair 6 is a proven piston engine UAV, whereas the Kahir 313 represents a jet-powered drone with a different architecture. Transitioning technology from one level to a higher one presents unique challenges. Iran is currently navigating this path. Analysts believe the Kahir 313 and JAS 313 hold significant potential, but without field validation, their operational value cannot yet be fully assessed. At present, the project remains largely in development, yet its potential is undeniable. The Kahir 313 reflects the ambition of Iran's defense industry, an effort to reach advanced drone technologies. Its full success could transform Iran's combat doctrine, but there is still a long road ahead. A key question remains, can the Kahir 313 influence the regional military balance? The answer depends on its future operational performance. Only successful tests in real conditions can clarify this. And for now, we must wait. Iran is now among the few nations pursuing jet-powered drone development. This reflects a level of technical maturity and forward-looking ambition. But there is a significant gap between the laboratory and the battlefield. Time will reveal all. In conclusion, the Chahir 313 project embodies both hope and uncertainty. Will this drone become operational in the near future? Or will it remain a research program recorded in history? For answers, we must continue to watch and wait. <laughs>